4.45 p.m. Based on information from the Flip Drug Courier, Group 14 has begun rounding up members of the ecstasy ring. They have saved the source for last. Intelligence indicates that he is heavily armed, so agents prepare for the worst. This is the culmination of the ecstasy investigation we've been working on. This is one of the sources. Woody and Brad, when they drove by today, they saw him come out of the house. We're going to go back and hit his door. His girlfriend was seen leaving. Uh, she may or may not be there. She's in a silver Grand Am. There's a rifle in the house, an AK-47. So expect a gun, some kind of long gun in the house. If one of us is hurt, we'll use the patrol car to go to receiving. Anybody else is hurt, we'll call 911. Uh, once inside, if we encounter any gunfire, we'll decide from there either to hold what we have or back out and call it a barricaded gunman. This guy had said that he hates cops, and I'm going to kill any cop that comes at me. I'm never going back to jail. That kind of thing obviously makes us very uneasy. When we come in his door, he very well may be waiting on us, and, and that's a dangerous position for us to be in. Obviously, I want to arrest him. He's a bad man. He's got a criminal history and a gun. If you already know that they're armed. The shotgun man and the second with the long gun, they have to be ready to use their weapons. Group 14 is three blocks from the source's home when they receive an urgent message from surveillance teams. Looks like we got a black male, white t-shirt. He's leaving the house. The target is leaving. Agents race to intercept him before he slips away. Hey, on what side of the street? Agents bust the source before he can flee in his car, while the rest of the raid team storms the house. Two women are found inside the house. Anything in that car we should know about at all? No. Any dope guns or anything else? They're questioned and released. The source was taken down on the street, away from his arsenal of weapons. What am I on the road for? How about your name? Told you. I was gonna come get you, lied to me again. But when agents enter his home, they learn what they would have faced if the source had been barricaded inside. Well, once we executed him and searched one of his house, he still had a mount of ecstasy, some cocaine, but he had a loaded assault rifle. You know, it was loaded right next to the front door. There was a loaded handgun. It had a laser sight on it. Yeah. Got a laser on it attached to the, the railing. And he's got a switch here for when he puts his hands on the weapon. You can see the laser on the wall there. And he had a camera on his front door. That, there was a color one that, that also had sound. He was ready. This is America's new pistol. It ain't, a, it ain't a doper in the city that don't have one of these. That's when we realized, hey, you know what, picking him off away from the house was a good decision by us. Because he had seen us coming. The house was fortified in the sense that it had some armor guard, that it had the deadbolt. So it would have took us a little while to get in the house, but more than enough time for him to arm himself. Maybe we'll hang this outside or let him know that the DEA stopped by. We really didn't have any preconceived notion of what we would find in here. This is just, you know, the end of the investigation. You know, people are getting arrested. Search warrants are getting executed. We didn't need there to be any drugs in here to make the case. The case was already made before we made entry. I think he's going to be probably pretty down when he realizes he's going to probably going back to prison. But we'll see what happens when we go talk to him. The source is looking at more than 15 years behind bars. But even he can cut his losses if he flips on his Canadian suppliers. He wants to cooperate. It's the case is still, still paying back dividends. And this one, and this one, he can actually end up, end up back in Canada. In the course of two weeks, a tip from a confidential informant eventually ballooned into a major international investigation. 
This is kind of a wrap up of the case, but it's leading to other cases. So it's an end of one investigation that's uh, spinning off into another investigation. We took another gun off the street. It's one less gun that's going to be used in a homicide. I mean, Detroit's a violent city. It's an AK-47. Who knows if he gets upset with someone decides he's going to bring his gun outside and start firing away. Anytime everybody goes home okay, it's a good day.